finish something that I started a, a while back. I haven't uploaded a video on this. Um, it's something that I tried all last summer and I wasn't sure if it would work so I didn't want to put it out there and then be like oh this didn't work so try this and I'll maybe try that. I wanted to give you guys a finished product. You know what I put in my garage door, those vents, that was something that I had done before after my door got messed up. I got a new door and I, I put them right back in. You know and, and I showed you the second time that they're my second door. So I knew that it worked and I knew it helped tremendously, but it just, it just wasn't enough and I needed a bit more. I didn't want to go the full route of a therm, you know, um, I didn't want to go the full route of a, a thermostat and a fan and all that sort of mess. So I wanted something passive. I wanted something cheap. So what I found was some was exactly that it was it's passive it's cheap with the whole thing with what i'm about to show you and what i've already put in my doors i've got 20 bucks into this so this is something that anybody can do it, it doesn't take any special skills um i did have to buy some tin snips that's the only thing i had to buy other than that nothing else you know all the tools you would normally have around your house you know that's all that any of this takes so I'll show you that all right so all it is is a vent I think it's for a gable I think that's exactly what it was it was $16 at Home Depot and it's just a vent I popped a hole in the wall let me zoom you all in a little bit I popped a hole in the wall, inside and outside. You see I cut my drywall a bit too big on the inside, but you know, that's it's fine. And I can show y'all video or uh, yeah, it's just a video from the outside. But that's all it is. It's just $16 vent. It's uh 16 no, it's 14 inches wide. Cuz the studs are 16 on center. I've got it mounted on one stud, the other is kind of like hanging in there, but it, it works. We've had several storms, nothing's blown it out. So that's all it is. I'll show you the outside. All right, here it is from the outside. Just a white vent, doesn't match the siding. But I mean, what does that really matter in the big scheme of things? I mean, it's, it's great. We've had some nasty storms blow through and it's sealed and even though if you notice on the bottom there's not a lot of exposed caulk um, there's a bunch inside I mean it's just it's just not out on the outside visible but I basically filled up every single crack you know because the siding's not exactly smooth but it's all filled up out there but that's all it is sixteen dollars put it as high as I could it lets the heat out so the vents on the bottom of my garage door they let the air in, the cool air in. This lets the hot air out. And I've got a fridge and a deep freeze in my garage. And even in the summer, I mean, it's a good 20 degrees cooler when I walk out there. So definitely, definitely something that works. Just wanted to share that with y'all. Thanks for watching.